fan welcome back to my channel it's me again Glimmer's vlog so um you guys i know you guys might have seen this uh viral clips of wiki nets in wiki of level party he's the governor incumbent governor of level party that has been circulating um on social media so wiki at the time of um when he came out to declare his intention to run for the office of the president last year, we saw how he went about campaigning, how he was busy squandering River State's uh, money for his election. This thing, for his election, we saw a lot of the, the bosses he bought, which I'm not sure. I'm not sure the state of those bosses because everything is going to be a waste. We saw how he was wasting money, how he was going about wasting the state's money just to campaign for his election. We also saw uh, uh, the time he went to Anambra State, how he told the people of Anambra State, how he made a lot of uh, uh, downgrading remarks against P2P, how he he, he told the people of Anambra State not to vote for P2B, not to vote for their son, to abandon their son, to come and vote for him. How he was, you know, previously he never used to admit he was an evil man. How he was, you know, trying to, um, you know, claim evil ethnicity. And this is one thing about these Nigerian politicians. Whenever they are campaigning, they try to, you know, um, get in line with this ethnic evil evils because they want their votes after the whole campaign after they've won election we see them we saw like previous years how in Bo market i don't know somewhere in river state how most of the evils were being you know most of their business were being destroyed and some 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 of them lost their life in the process all because of this evil thing evil evil that evil this and we know that very well that this river state used to be part of Igbo, Igbo ethnic group. Not until it was created just for the politicians, just for, let me say, for political reasons, okay? So a lot of them from that side usually come out to say they are not Igbo. But yes, they keep hearing Igbo them. And that will baffles me. You see somebody like the uh, uh, Delta State Governor, I think, if I knew, he will come out to say, it's not an evil man, but yet, why is Ifani? What is Ifani doing in your name? Likewise, Wiki, and likewise, other people that come out and say they are not evil, but yet you are speaking the dialect, you are bearing the name. I'm not forcing you to be, you know, to align yourself with a particular ethnic group, but stop causing problems, stop uh, causing tribal war among these people. If you don't align with them when you are in power, don't align with them when you are campaigning. So we saw those clips where he went to Anambra to say Anambra push you don't vote for P2P, that is he's their son, that is Wiki, he's their son, they should vote for him. So when he lost the ticket to presidential election to article, he became so furious, we've been seeing clips of him going about, you know, the, you know, talking down on PDP and all of that, how PDP also tried to win him to their side, but unfortunately it wasn't possible because Mike already had a plan. Is I see, it's like, since you people don't want to nominate me as your president, nobody from a PDP is going to be president. He went and aligned himself. You know, it, he played a very dangerous game in this election season. He went and uh, aligned himself with APC. And we saw a clip of P2B when P2B was still campaigning, how he went to River State, how welcoming and warming um, uh, this man, Wake was. Is this kind of... That's, that's thing they, they used to say, beware of friend that smile with. Not everybody that smile with you is actually your friend. Some will still go at your back to stab you. And that is what exactly what Wake did this election period. So... The kind of welcoming, the kind of uh, you know support that Pito that um, Wike gave Pito B when he came to River State to campaign, you know, none of the um, south uh, south eastern governors gave Pito B that kind of support, and that was why people were like, you see, it's it's not a matter of evil presidency. You can see that five. Uh, 
those five governors didn't even show support for P2B's presidency. In fact, they even you saw the likes of Soludo that came out to say that P2B didn't uh, you know do anything when he was the governor, that the money he saved, you know, all sorts of things just to you know um bring the man down. We saw how Ike Poremado who is currently in prison now in the UK, how he came out to say, yeah, P2P is our, uh, it's our son, but he's not fit to run for presidency. We saw a lot of them, the likes of David Omar of Rivers of Ebony State, how he came out to say that Ebony is for APC, that they're voting for Tinubu. We also saw the likes of um, Uzodema, who Uzodema of, of Imo State, how he came out to say that Imo State belongs to Tinubu. And the funny thing is that at the end of the election, Peter Bill won in all these states, despite this, uh, uh, South, uh, despite this governor not giving him that brotherly support, that full support, as people who have been uh, glamouring on Igbo presidency. Because I thought when Peter B showed an interest to run for the office of the president that this Igbo elite, these Igbo politicians will give him the support. At least, if not for anything, he's the only person that, you know, that has a very good track record that a lot of Nigerians loved, a lot of Nigerians single-handedly picked him to be their president, even though that the election was rigged at the end of the day. So, Mike was playing this dangerous game. He's like, he, he, in the front, he laughs. Like, is this kind of friend in your, in your front? They laugh with you, but at your, at your back, they stab you. So he gave this people be this full support during the campaign that even to a point they went and formed like this thing G7. I don't know the essence of the G7 if you couldn't deliver the promises you made. But that is, that, that is not even the issue. During the election, we saw how he was intimidating the voters to vote for APC. Not even to intimidating the voters, how the result was changed in favor of APC. And funny enough, we can never deny it. He has come out on channels news to admit that yes, that he supported APC, that he 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 gave Labour Party's vote to APC. I don't know what was going through his mind why he did that, but regardless, I know that P2B won this election. And even if P2B, I keep saying this, even if P2B doesn't come out as Nigerian president, which I'm not sure if he's going to come out next um, four years to run for the office of president again, even if he doesn't come out, even if they, at the end of the whole court, uh, court a case, it was not, he's not, he's not been declared the winner. It's fine, but at least he has made an impact in the Nigerian political system. He has left a very um, a, a footprint. He has he has given a young Nigerian hopes that without uh, money, without being rich, that you can be whatever you want to be. He has given Nigerian youth the chance, the opportunity to you know participate actively. We saw how. Youth, but we are participating. How everybody we are, you know, putting hands together to see that this election comes out successful. How we trusted our enemies. How we trusted a lot of people, thinking that our that they are on our side. But at the end of the day, what happened? They, the reverse became. They, 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 they did what was in their mind. He has given Nigerians hope. You saw the likes of. Um, um, of somebody, an Okada rider somewhere in one state like that in Nigeria, how he came out. He didn't even, I heard that he didn't even plan it. He just put his name as just, he identified with Labour Party. We saw how he won the election in his state. Also, likewise, in any state of uh, a, a bus driver also who allied with Labour Party. This is this is a very significant change in Nigerian political system. P2P has left a very strong footprint. He has left a hope. Even if this man, I so much love this man. If not for anything, he gave people hope. He showed people, yes, it is your country that you can actually take back your country. He gave Nigerian youth hope. And you saw a lot of people, a lot of uh, Nigerian youth trying to participate in one way or the other. Tell me, over the years, has Nigerian youth ever participated 
in any of this electoral process but you saw this year they they actively in their millions participated even people contesting young people contesting this is what we want we want a political system where nigerian youth are allowed to uh, participate effectively in the election process in the decision making of the country in the policy making of Nigeria, that is how a standard country was not a country where that is being ruled by cabals, that is being ruled by old men who are close to their grave. Sorry to use that word, that is being ruled by people who have their own selfish interests and don't even have the interests of the nation at hand. How do you feel? How do these politicians feel when they travel out of the country? They see they don't learn the good thing, they don't learn, they don't go to those countries to learn how the political system over there work, how the government effectively manage the country's wealth and natural resources. They don't go there, I don't know what they go there to do. They only come back to oppress their own, they only come back to you know silence their own, they only come back to oppress the people they are ruling. If you keep on oppressing people, if you keep on deleting people, you know, taking people's lives, at the end of the day, who are you going to rule? Who are you going to make those policies for? So this is just me. I'm going to be attaching that clip of of uh we uh, Nelson Wike, where he admitted that yes, the election was rigged in the favor of APC alongside with this video. And you guys, let me know your thoughts on that video. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Till then, see you in my next one. God bless you. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do want to subscribe because more will be coming your way. Bye. Within us and our integrity group, we agreed that we must make sure power comes to the south. And in any state where you have control. If Labour Party comes first, APC must come second. If APC comes first, Labour must come uh, second. And we did it. I'm proud to say it.